Next up, we're going to have Senator Terry Van Dyne. Um, first, first, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. I love our revolution. I love Indivisible. And I'll tell you why. You all are not here because you're afraid of being um, uh, exported. Um, uh, deported. deported, thank you. Oh, no, we're here for your neighbors because you're, you don't want anyone who's just working to put food on their kids' tables to be, to be deported. Um, and you're here too, not because you're upset that, that, that the press wrote something nasty about you. You know that a free press is fundamental yeah. to the to a navigator during the first six months of the rollout and the, I want to tell you the most important thing I learned the people who came into my office they all worked yep. now they maybe didn't work as much as they could I had a gentleman one of my first clients he came in and he needed knee surgery he could, could barely get he worked construction all his life he was in his 50s and he wanted to work more he didn't want to go on disability he just wanted to get his knees fixed but because he wasn't working enough, he fell in the Medicaid expansion um, yeah. bubble, and I had to turn him away. Yep. It broke my heart. I had a young woman come in to see me. She uh, was babe, um, had a, a mental impairment of some sort, um, uh, uh, but she was real proud of the fact that she could work 20 hours a week at Walmart. Um, I could see just by looking at her, she was very organized and brought in all kinds of documentation and, you know, real hyper about it. I could see what a struggle it would be for her to work 40 hours a week, but if she could get on her medication, she could work full time. And finally, I want to tell you a personal story. My mom, my mom, like a lot of women in her age, um, <laughs> She got pregnant in high school, okay, had eight kids, um, was dead at 52. A single generation later, I have choices. I get to have a career. I get to go to college. I get to raise a family on my terms. That's yeah. good health care. Yeah. The Affordable Care Act not only ensured to uh, 20 million people, but it made health care contraception available to women. That was not the case before the Affordable Care Act. Um, yep. And it also, um, <coughs> we talked about the pre-existing conditions. That was wrong. People couldn't change jobs because they were afraid they'd lose their health care. Um, health care is a right and it is a strategy for dealing with poverty. If we can keep people healthy, then they can work and take care of themselves. We need to, to, to maintain the Affordable Care Act and improve it. Um, I have no doubt we will get to single payer. Um, but this is the first step. So thank you all for being here. And I know I'm speaking to the, to the choir, but I have one more request of y'all, and that is that you keep it up. Because what I have learned is that elections matter. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we have got to stick together um, and flip some seats in our, in our Congress and in our legislature. Um, you've got good folks working here in Buncombe County. You could be really proud of what's going on, but we've got to, we've got to have an impact at the state and federal level too. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here.